If we imagine that others have the capacity to empathize with us, then I probably will lose fewer strands of hair due to worry onto my carpet. Let me explain. Although it's been a couple of years, I still carefully mold my accent to sound like an authentic, standardized American. Freshman year, I'd have bouts where I'd fear that people would find me to be a phony. Not a true American yet by my accent, and when that thought would terrorize my mind, my words would tumble and jumble all over one another today. My tongue doesn't freeze in the face of English anymore when I stress, thankfully, a feat I take great relish in. If we imagine that others had the capacity to empathize with us, then I probably would confide more in my few friends whom I hold quite dear. How terrified I was last year when my mom told me she was gonna start studying part-time. And how terrified I was that she might be disrespected or jeered at because unlike me, who had at least learned English, albeit in a foreign country, she self-taught herself. Because unlike the cynical me, she still had faith and optimism in people's humanity that I was so certain American society was squished, terrified. Because a small part of me was scared to death that she might become the unsuspecting victim of a hate crime in today's America. If we imagine that others had the capacity to empathize with us, then I wouldn't hesitate to say that I stay here on breaks because campus and housing here is so much more luxurious than what's waiting for me back home. If we imagine that others have the capacity to empathize with us, then I wouldn't think that my history with boys has been so dismal, at least to some extent, because of my skin color. I'm not saying that's the only reason. It could be because I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, wealthy enough, or I'm just not their type, but that's what gets me. Is their type just white or black or Hispanic? To what extent does skin color play into who someone is attracted towards and will that factor continue to work against me? I would do anything to silence those nagging thoughts like, he probably won't even bother getting to know you because you're too, your name's too hard, weird, interesting, ethnic, different. He might not want to get to know you because you're culturally different and he'll choose not to relate. And then on the off chance that he is attracted to me, it's because I'm black and he has a fetish for it. With past experiences like these, can you blame a girl for not wanting to and yet having never felt a man's attention, for not wanting to keep trying? If we imagine that others had the capacity to empathize with us, then I will step out of this audience and go from someone whose actions are shaped in reaction to the main actors on stage in conformity with those around her to someone, to someone who felt like she could alter her script if she didn't like it. If others could truly empathize with no judgment, then maybe I'd be more honest with them and with myself. And maybe then the story would not be that of a stranger but would instead have my hard, weird, interesting, ethnic, different, and nine times out of 10 mispronounced name attached to it. <laughs>